Um, another YouTube request. This I've been asked to show is a British six pounder, 700 weight, anti-tank gun round, solid shot head, stamped AP 7CWT, six pounder, 1940 something. The head, copper drive band, solid shot, really nice piece of kit. The shell case, the shell cases of six pounders are quite interesting because in, in, in some cases, the six pound anti tank gun was used in action with normal six pounder rounds, but they were also marked on the bottom of the case by hand for armor piercing, discarding sabot rounds and normal armor piercing rounds. So what you get in the case of this shell case, which is six pounder, 700 weight, 1943, it's actually black ink stamped there, APDS, armor piercing, discarding sabot. This saw the soldier could identify the head that was on it because sometimes they went into action with normal rounds in and then a few rounds later on, it would have an armor piercing round so they needed to denote it. Also, upstairs somewhere, I can't lay my hands on them, I've got two relic shell cases which were fired by the six pounders of the airborne artillery at Arnhem. And on those shell cases, actually physically welded onto the bottom are the letters AP and they've been rubbed down to denote to the airborne guys that they're armor piercing rounds. So anyway, this is six pounder, anti-tank gun, head, shell case. Um, shell case, again, pick them up at the car boot sales, pay a couple of quid for them. The head was one of two that I got from a scrapyard. Scrapyards are good for, for actual heads. I've had quite a few from scrapyards. I've got some World War One shells. I've got, oh, I've got, I've got tons of this stuff. So I'll showcase some more shells if, if you're interested. Um, always happy to do it. So anyway, that's the six pounder anti-tank gun, World War Two British, uh, 1943. As I say, I have an identical shell upstairs with the same APDS and ink stamp on the bottom. And I also have two Relic Arnhem ones, which I find actually more interesting than this complete one, which were fired by the Airborne Artillery at Arnhem in 1944. So anyway, six pounder shell. That's what they look like. So, we'll move back a bit. We'll see you for another video sometime. So I probably will do some more artillery stuff because because the artillery shells, I, I didn't think they would be popular. Because there's nothing much you can say, you can just go, this is an artillery shell. But uh, I do have quite a lot, so I'll I'll do some more sometime. So we'll see you again sometime. And thanks for your interest anyway. So we'll see you again.